Hey YouTube. So managed to get Plex working on a Pi 2. So purposes of today's video is to go through the installation, uh, how, how we write it out to the SD card. Um, we're going to have a look at it on actually running on the Pi. Um, we're going to look at some test footage. So we're going to be looking at 1080p videos, some 720p videos. Um, we're going to be using the Wi-Fi dongle, um, so I'm connected on an end network, so it's about 300 meg, um, and we'll we'll see how it performs over that. So, before we begin, what we'll do is we will get it installed. So, what we need to do um, is head over to a website called rasplex.com, and over here on the right hand side, there's a button get Rasplex so we'll do that and then you've got an uh, option of three installers of so Windows, uh, Mac or Linux so I'm going to be using the Windows version um, just to save a bit of time I've already downloaded it so it's here so we just run that and to be honest this particular part is pretty self-explanatory um, it's only a four stage process what you need to do uh, is select your Raspberry Pi, so in this case it's Pi 2 um, there is only one version available anyway um, and then step 3 is the uh, flash drive that we're going to be writing it to now normally you'd hit download um, to go get the image um, I've already done it, select some time um, save some time, sorry <clears throat> not point 5.1 and then we write to SD card. Now the Plex has issues with some SD cards that are bigger than 32 gig. This is a 64 gig um, Samsung card. Um, when it writes it out it does actually partition the uh, SD card at about 300 nod meg anyway. When you first run the install uh, it will repartition and use the rest of the available space. Um, so this does work on any size uh, of SD card. So um, obviously this takes a while to write out, so um, I'm not going to keep recording this. So once this is done, we'll pop it in the Pi and we'll get it all logged in and, and see how it runs. See you in a minute. So now we're doing the install, let's turn it on. So the first thing that happens um, is it goes through the um, partition resize. So we just have to wait for this to go through. So we'll just quickly speed this up. This just allows you to use the entire storage card. Because um, obviously you're only limited to the 300 meg partition. So let's go through that bit and uh, plus another reboot. So we'll speed through this bit. Right, so we've got the initial loading screen, so that's good. Um, we'll just wait for that to come up and then we'll go through the wizard to actually set it up. So here we go. So it's actually detected my amp, so that's a good thing. So the first thing we need to do is to uh, get it on the network. So what we'll do is we'll pick my strongest one just put the um, uh, SSID password in and there we go it's picked up an IP address so that's good uh, don't need to calibrate the screen so what we'll do now is we'll log into Plex so this is obviously where it picks up all of your details so that's the code. So this is the bit where you go to plex.tv slash pin and then you type your account. So let's enter this in here. So N62X and then hopefully let's click connect on there. It'll log in here. Hey, hey it's worked. Cool. So that's now logged in as me. So in theory um, it should bring up all my stuff. Now, I've done a pre-cache before 
it takes forever because I've got a really big library. So I'm not going to do that here. And there we have all of my stuff. So first thing we do, I know you're dying to see this. So let's watch. Um, <clears throat> a video that I know is 1080p and let's try this out. So it's 1080p with DTS audio. Will it run? Now I can't play it, I can't play it for long for copyright reasons. Um, in fact, I'll probably blur out some of the screen so it don't get picked up. Oh, it's freezing. That's not good. So even a Raspberry Pi 2 can't handle 1080p. No, it's not having it. So I think what we're going to have to do is force a transcode. So what we'll do is we'll go into the um, preferences and under quality local video quality is on direct play so what we'll do is we'll drop that down to 8 meg so try 8 meg go back um, and eventually get around to it let's try it again oh transcoding now my transcoding is done on an i3, so usually when we go out to the iPads it works fine, so let's see if it works okay on here. That seems a bit better. Sounds a bit wrong. It's not actually kicked out um, DTS. Ah, uh, stopped. So it lasted longer than it did before, so we'll have to downgrade it again, I think. But what we'll do while we're in the settings menu um, is we'll just go through the settings. So. Um, this is standard Plex stuff, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through any of the settings. It's exactly the same as it is on any other platform. Um, so we signed in. Audio output HDMI. Aha! There you go. So DTS. So make sure I put two ticks in there. And the audio in my case is 5.1. So that should sort the amp out. We are outputting at 1080p. Um, up that to, there is a slight lag actually on the screen. Oh, oh, there you go, yes. Um, so, that oh, seems to sort that out, good. So what we'll do, is we'll drop this to 4 meg and we'll test it again. Now it's still got a bit of a lag on it. Let's try it again. Oops, not 12 meg. Wrong film. It's 
thinking about it. Seems to be working, but then again it did stop before. This is where it stopped and it's kept going. That seems to be fine now. So to stream 1080p on a Pi 2, you must set the transcoding at 4 meg. Yeah, that's what I can find now. Good. It's not bad actually. I'm going to watch this for a few minutes. Um, I'll speed it up, but I'll see if it skips. So I've been watching that for a few minutes now and it's not stopped at all. So four meg is the perfect setting. So everything else seems to be working okay. So um, obviously one of the options that we don't get on um, when you run this on Windows is a little option there for um, settings so and we get this screen here so basically this is going through um, all the operating system settings so we have system at the top which gives you the name we've got the keyboard layout um, power uh, saving settings and backup the network here um, this is where your wireless networks or wired network is configured um, and there's all your uh, SSIDs services um, so this is all your uh, the SSH uh, cron Samba you know for the Windows stuff and um, there's no Bluetooth on there anyway and we've got the about screen which just goes through the OS so there's my video, so thank you for watching, um, I hope you found it informative and uh, if you like my videos give me a thumbs up, um, like and subscribe, thanks for watching.